Pops this one in the infield. From third, and he dropped the ball. Oh, my goodness, and now he throws it away. But now the Dodgers are hung up on the bases. Has got Betts trying to get back to the bag. What a circus. Bush is out. Betts to third. All right, so I hope you had fun watching that because you probably won't see this one again for quite some time. We've got the Dodgers against the Giants, 7-5. Giants winning in the 11th. One out, man on second. Mookie Betts at the plate. And we're going to break this play down a little bit slower for you. So here's the pitch, and we have a high pop-up. Pitcher points it out. Third baseman playing very deep right here, playing basically no doubles. So trying to keep the tying run off of second base. He does not want a ball hit down the line for a double. So he's playing pretty far back. He's on the line. So he's got a, a long run right now. Catcher's going to come out. Third baseman's going to come in. Pitchers aren't athletes, so they're not going to try to get the ball. And right here he starts to drift a little bit. And, hey, he should have had it. Regardless of where he's playing, should have had it. Ball bounces off his glove. Man at second has to stay at second. Now, pitcher picks the ball up. For what reason, I don't know, because that ball was in the air for a long time. He turns and says, well, I'm just going to throw it to first base, even, th even though Mookie is already past the bag. So I don't know why he's throwing to first. And to make matters worse, he throws it pretty much like my Milwaukee Brewers throw. He throws it 10 feet over the first baseman's head. Now, Mookie. Turns and runs to second. Runner on second is going to now run to third. Here comes Yaz running in. Chase it down. You can see the runner. He is just getting to third base. He's almost there, right? So he's close right as Yaz is going to pick this ball up. Now, he's really, really shallow because the ball wasn't thrown that far down the line. So Yaz goes to throw, realizes that the runner at third has stopped. But then looks at Mookie and says, oh, Mookie rounded second and started to go to third. So now he's going to start to run the ball in because we've got Mookie hung up between second and third. And the man at third is at third. So he throws it in. The man at third retreats back to third base. Now they've got Mookie in a rundown. So Mookie, unaware, as you're rounding second, you've got to pick this guy up. You've got to make sure that he scores. If he definitely scores, well, then you can follow but looks like, again, we don't have a great angle on it, but looks like he probably didn't pick him up or just assume that he was going to score. But again, the ball wasn't thrown very far down the line. And in this situation, yes, you want to try to get the third with only one out so you can score on a sack fly. They'd have to bring the infield in if they want to. But again, you're the tying runs. So you've got to be sure that you can make it. This run right here doesn't matter. You are the tying run. So now they've got Mookie in a rundown. This runner's going to start to run home. Again, this runner technically doesn't really matter in this situation, but they're still going to throw the ball home. So now we catch it here. We're going to get him in a rundown. So now he's going to start to work back. Mookie right here stops. Now Mookie's going to start to go this way. Now in this situation as the catcher, you have two options. You can, if you want, you can throw it, try to get a quick tag, and then try to get Mookie out. Or you can just run him back all the way. Mookie's probably going to continue to run here. You'll have two runners on third, and you'll just tag them both. But what he decides right here is that he is going to throw it because Mookie starts to kind of just, like, jog. He's not sprinting. He's just kind of jogging. So they throw the ball here. They get a catch and a tag by the pitcher. Right, so a catch and a tag, and now Mookie's just slowly jogging in. And then at this point, the pitcher said, well, I've only thrown the ball away once. Let me try to just throw it away again. And luckily this time, it's a close enough throw. He throws it right on the back. But I don't know why you would turn. Even the catcher's looking at him saying, no, I just watched you throw it 10 feet over the first baseman's head. But again, he, he thought he was an athlete. Luckily, close throw. You can, even, you can even see this guy right here. He gets very nervous, like ready to back up, even though he's only one foot behind the third baseman. Or, in this case, the shortstop. Sorry, we've got 15 guys within a five-foot radius of third base right now. And the play is done. He's safe. Crazy play. Poor execution, really, from both sides.
hopefully that helps clarify this. I didn't even know this happened. A bunch of people started messaging me saying, did you see the play in the Dodgers-Giants game? So I had to look it up. But as I like to say in my MLB The Show games, somebody put a tent over this circus. Hopefully we won't see this one for quite some time. That's all I got. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.